Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I'm coming to you today from Las Vegas, Nevada to talk about the high roller, the big wheel, whatever you want to call it, this thing behind me that's getting washed out by the sun. Now, as a um, Caesars Rewards player, I do get a free ride on the big wheel every time I come at least once, you know, at most once a month. I live in Miami, I'm not coming to Vegas more than once a month, but you'll see right here. There should be a giant Ferris wheel. Now, I really don't know what it normally costs to ride. I'm gonna figure that out when I go there, but I'm using my free ticket and we're gonna take my opinion and the opinion of my traveling partner and see, is it actually worth it? So um, let's go ahead. Let's try the big wheel. I've, I've done this before, I'm not, not sober like this. It is Black Friday, it's about noon o'clock here uh, on, in Las Vegas, and we are going to go ahead, ride the big wheel. I'm gonna take you along both here, and I'm gonna put a 360 camera on my hat, and you can watch the 360 video separately. So join along as we go down the Link Promenade, headed towards the big wheel, the big Ferris wheel, the high roller, whatever I wanna call it, courtesy of, Caesars rewards. I'll let you know my thoughts all along the way. All right, so I am here at the entrance of the high roller and guess what I know now? I know the pricing. It's a little complex, but uh, let's just break it down. 30 bucks for 40 bucks, 30 bucks for adults during the day, 40 bucks for adults anytime, meaning at night, because a lot of people like to see this at night. Uh, this time of year, it's open from noon to midnight. I think the summer, it's open a little bit longer. Uh, but who, who's up in Vegas before noon? So again, they're just opening. It's 12.22. Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and... This is my Caesars um, Diamond Tier Benefit. Well, we're going to go in. You can watch this um, either flat here. I'll bring you along the way. Or in 360 degrees on the hat that I'm about to turn on. Uh, join along and I'll let you know just not just my opinion but my friend's opinion who's with me along the way and he is uh, a little bit afraid of heights so I want to let you know if heights are a problem here see you inside so we are checked in through security and now we are going up 550 feet for 360 degree views security here is very light per se um, you can bring on anything you want they just want to make sure you don't have anything dangerous it is an enclosed car, so you can bring on selfie sticks, you can bring on 360 cameras, like this stupid thing I have on my head. Uh, so you can get those traditional tickets, I said either 30, 30 or 40 dollars, day or night. Night is more expensive, or you can upgrade to their bar car. They do have a, um, a bar here that you can uh, get drinks at before you go, before you go on the uh, ride, but they do have one that is actually a bar. Manny, here's your tickets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now we've got uh, more escalators. Why? Because we're going up. Feel like I'm at the Tower of Terror, but it's not going to drop that much. Again, it's not uh, that scary. Uh, they do also have, if you are a Caesars member, um, they do have a priority line for Diamond and above. So Diamond and Seven Cs. You can skip the whole line to buy tickets or transfer your tickets or. If you're diamond you're going for free if you're seven seas you're going for free so it doesn't really matter they do want to take your photo and all that and we'll get on board i'll get back with you once we're on board all right and now it is time to wait for our little sphere and give it a ride what's cool is this sphere actually rotates around as it goes up again we waited a grand total of uh, about 30 seconds uh, to get on so that's a uh, massive total of 30 seconds. Let's go ahead, uh, let's play the thumbnail game real quick. Okay, thumbnail game. All right, and we are in. Very, uh, very empty car. The car is a lot bigger than it looks on TV. But it does rotate and everything like that. I think we're gonna get this car to just the, uh, the five of us. Which is a really, really cool benefit. Slow down, people. Slow down. Oh yeah, we're good. What is this? Uh, six people. You can't ask for better. That's why. That's why you come ride this early. Everyone gets a seat. Everyone gets a ride, and we are headed around 
the top of the strip. So I'll bring you some more from the top, but definitely check out the 360 if you want to see the full experience. All right, and interestingly, we've got right here the Sphere, which is my uh, least recommended experience in uh, Las Vegas right now. Uh, the film was terrible. It was too crowded to see any of the things beforehand. Just want to uh, not recommend postcards from Earth. Now, maybe the U2 show, and that's different, but I want to not recommend uh, seeing postcards from Earth at the Sphere, because it's god-awful terrible rip-off of Wally. We are currently 169 of 550 feet up in uh, the air. Now, there is an emergency toilet in here that they don't tell you how to get to unless you call. But there is one here if, uh, if, if the need arises. But just bring a Gatorade bottle. Um, and you've got a little emergency intercom where you can call that phone number right there. Just be aware. We'll see how my friend, who's feared of heights, uh, is doing when we get to the top. We'll pass him the mic and see how he goes. But look, there's a ball over my shoulder. Yay! All right, so it looks like we are now halfway up, which is a quarter of the way through the ride. It's about 10 minutes in, so it's going to take you about 40 minutes to go around this entire circle. So uh, just be aware of that. But yeah, we are at the halfway point. You can see the big old spear right there and everything like that. My friend who's afraid of heights says this isn't that bad, but again, we are only halfway. Yes, one of these cars is a bar car. I can't see the bar car. I don't know what the bar car costs. I might Google it and let you know when I come back to you. I want to know myself. I always go for free with Caesars, but uh, there is a way to get to all you can drink here. So you might want to do that. All right, so we are almost at the top. I think we're like one car from the top. And you can see the view. The view all the way from the top. You can see we're at 550 feet, so you can see that uh, little baby 350 foot sphere right down there. You can see our shadow that we're casting. I think we're almost there, almost there, about half a car or so till the top. It's really, if you, if you have a fear of heights, it's not that bad. It's fully enclosed, it is climate controlled, so it's cold outside now, so it's a uh, I'd say it's about neutral to the temperature outside that the air is coming in. But if you come in when it's 120 degrees in the, in the summer, you'll like it. Um, you can see the strip. You can see the sphere. You can see everything like that. And on the way down, I'm not sure if they're running yet. Let's see what time. We might see it in 10 minutes or so. But on the way down, you can actually see right over in the distance the Bellagio Fountains. You can see that garbage hotel. Oh, let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, where's the Rio? Oh, the Rio's back there. That's the red and blue hotel. There's only one good thing at the Rio. Well, technically two, if you know who they are. It's Penn and Teller. That's the one good uh, act to see at the Rio. But two people, and I'm actually going to be going there tonight to see Penn and Teller. Um, but uh, we are now, yep, we are now at the top. 537 feet. 538 feet, 539, 540, 541, 543, 44, here we go, 45, oh wait, why'd you go to a screensaver? Why'd you go to a screensaver? I was trying to get to 550. We are definitely at the top now. You can see the sphere and everything like that. Let's, uh, let's get a quick from behind. You feel bad on heights or are you okay? No, this is not bad. All right, that's someone who's afraid of heights. Someone who's afraid of heights said, oh, this is not bad. This could be one of your last looks at the Mirage before they tear it down and build a giant guitar here. So there's the Mirage. Oh, now we're at the top. Oh, five. Four, three, two, one, out of the top! We are now, we're now at the top, and I'm hoping before we get lose sight of it, we actually get a Bellagio Fountain show to go. But I'm not sure what time they're going on a Friday. I think they start about noon on Friday. So, um, we shall see. And we're off! 
We are leaving the high roller. Wasn't that bad, wasn't that scary. Highly recommend if you are in the area, if you got your Caesars points, if you got your Caesars points, definitely, definitely do the high roller. If you don't have your Caesars points, go during the day. It's cheaper, it's worth doing. This is Richard from No Pants Profits coming to you from the bottom of the high roller in Las Vegas, reminding you when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you got left to lose. And that is your shirt. Have a great one. Bye. Well, <laughs> I can't track myself. Bye.